MongoDB has rapidly grown to become a popular database for web applications. But did you ever feel or sometimes wonder how a feature just looks too good not to use it? Now, if you take a look at SQL, we have an option of joins where we use SQL joins in order to combine two or more tables to get the related data that is present in between them. In contrast to that, if you look at MongoDB, we do not have the option of SQL joins, but instead we have relationship models in order to have a logical connection between the data that is present in different collections. Now you can use this relation models like embedded and re reference model if the data is present in the same collection. But what if the data that you're trying to retrieve from the documents is in different collections and in different databases. And that's where MongoDB database references or in short DBref concepts come into picture. On that note, hey everyone, Welcome to Simply Coach YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. In today's session, we'll be discussing all about MongoDB database references or in short DBrefs and why it is important to learn and what are the main concepts of database references and why it is no longer used by MongoDB developers. But before we begin, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed already, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. So without any further ado, let's get started with today's topic. All right, as you know that MongoDB relationship represents how multiple documents are logically connected to each other in MongoDB. It provides two types of relationships, namely embedded and referenced. Embedded documents capture relationship between data by storing related data in a single document structure. On the other hand, reference models store the relationship between data by including links or references from one document to another. Now, to implement a normalized database structure in MongoDB, we use the concept of reference relationship. That is, if you look at the left side of the uh, screen here, you, you can have an example where it is a reference model where we have student collection and inside we have ID and then we have another uh, you know, document contact details where we are referencing using this student document, right? So in that way, we can use reference model for that. So we use this concept of reference relationship also referred to as manual uh, references in which we manually store the reference document ID inside another document. Now, what if the data that you're trying to search isn't present in different uh, collection or in different database? And that's where you have to use dbrefs. dbrefs are references from one document to another using the value of the first document ID field, collection name and optionally its database. DBRefs basically allow you to uh, more easily reference documents stored in multiple collections or database. So if you look at this example, I have a user collection here and a post collection here. In the user collection, I have ID, name, post as my fields and I'm trying to fetch those from the post collection, which is another collection in, in that case, right? So if I'm trying to retrieve data from another collection, which may be present in another database, in such case, you have to reference the database that you're trying to search for and that is where we use dbref. So and that brings us to the main part what is you know MongoDB database references. MongoDB database references allow you to more easily reference documents stored in multiple collections or database. So relationship between documents can be represented using this uh, dbrefs which offer a standard format and type. So if a database needs to communicate with a variety of frameworks and tools present in MongoDB database, the dbref format offers common links for representing the data between the documents. However, in cases where a document contains references from different collections, in that case, we have to use MongoDB dbrefs. So it basically represents a document rather than a specific reference type. And if you're trying to uh, find data in more than one collection, in such case, you have to use MongoDB database references. All right, I hope you understood what it is and let us now move ahead and understand uh, the various parameters that we use, you know, while writing, you know, database reference syntax. First, we have the $ref keyword. Now, ref field basically holds the name of the collection, whereas where the reference document resides. Next, we have the ID field. The ID field basically contains the value of the ID field in the reference document. And finally, we have the optional DB, which contains the name of the database where the document or the reference document resides. So in MongoDB, these are the three important fields which should be used in order to implement DBrefs relationship as follows. 
Let us now understand the syntax of MongoDB database reference and how it is exactly used. Now let's say if I have an address collection here, which I'm basically uh, creating two different fields, which is ID and city. So the command is the db.address.insert and ID is 145 and city is Bangalore. Next we have another uh, document, which is db.address.insert, which is the ID is 124, city is Delhi. So firstly, we have inserted two documents in our address collection. Now let us move ahead and see and how we can implement this using another, uh, you know, collection, which is, which might be present in different database. Now, let's say if I have another student collection and I'm in that I'm inserting records, wherein I'm inserting records of uh, student details like ID I'm providing as one is first name of the student is Rahul here. So as you can see here inside, uh, you know, the address ID, which is the database reference field, which is part of the document or the collection student collection present in this collection, we are using MongoDB reference approach to refer the address ID present in another collection, which we have taken from the address collection here. After defining three fields, which are basically REF, ID and optional DB. So the REF is basically we are providing the field which you want to reference, have a provider reference to the collection that you are trying to connect here. So earlier we mentioned the ID and the address in the address collection, right? So I am referring to that. That's why I'm providing the collection name as address and ID as 105 and database is optional. You can keep whatever you want. I'm just taking simply it as simply code one. And similarly, we are again inserting another document. And again, we are referencing it with the dbref, uh, dbref field, which is again address ID. And for reference, I'm taking again address collection and ID as 124 and db dot simply code. Now you might have a question now what exactly and how exactly MongoDB DB, uh, dbref works here. Now the syntax is followed as var student db.student.find1 which we use in order to uh, find the data. Now I'm trying to search the first name with the name of Rohan. So I want to get the details or the address of this student whose name is Rohan. So for that I'm querying as var student address equals to student.address id and after that mention the syntax as db in the within the square brackets student address dot dollar ref dot find id where student address dot id now what does it mean so i'm basically connecting both the uh, address collection and the student collection and that is what i'm referring here student address dot reference and student address dot id so in order to get the address of uh, the student rohan you have to basically uh, provide a reference to both these uh, collections so that is what i'm doing here so when you execute this statement, this will be the final output. Now for Rohan, we have uh, the ID which is 145 and his city, the address is Bangalore. So this is how exactly DBref works in MongoDB. And that brings us to the end of today's session, guys. In this tutorial, we have revised the concepts of data relationships in MongoDB for the, with the likes of manual references used for data modeling in the MongoDB and compared it uh, against the concepts of MongoDB DBrefs where the former is used when the references are to be made to the documents present in the same collection. So you can use manual references when you're trying to make references in the same documents or which are present in the same collection. And the other, uh, you know, part which is MongoDB dbrefs approach is used when the references are to be made to the documents present in different collections and in different database. Now, the main question comes is, why is no longer MongoDB dbrefs concepts is not used? It is deprecated uh, all around the world and it is not a suggested method when you are trying to uh, work on this MongoDB database. And that is the reason also MongoDB documentation recommends manual references unless you have documents referred to in multiple locations or the collections in a database. So when you have multiple collections for your references to target, we would highly recommend it's still easier to store the object ID and collection name in the own object without specifying or with a special name of dbrefs and that won't break if someone insert the field out of the order. Now all the dbrefs haven't been deprecated in MongoDB as such and the functionality is unlikely to go away but hopefully you can see there are good reasons on why to use and how to avoid this function that we have discussed in this 
tutorial thank you for watching the video guys if you found this tutorial informative and helpful give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest stay tuned to the channel for more such amazing content and if you want to learn more about mongodb concepts we have a dedicated playlist on our channel so make sure you check that out We'll see you in the next video. Until next time, stay safe and keep coding.